You'll never get me. There's minecart tracks in your way. Can you believe that? Nobody can walk over those. Hey, what's going on? It's Fifters, it's Chimstiff here, and welcome to Minecraft Snapshot 13W04A. And today we've got some really cool stuff and some really stupid stuff. I'm going to be starting with the stupid stuff first, and that is that Bone Meal got nerfed. I, I don't know why. I can't really figure out the reasoning for why it got nerfed. But I'll show you guys what I mean here. So, I'm going to be planting some seeds. We're going to plant some carrots and a potato. And basically, in the past, when you hit a uh, seed or anything, any sort of crop with bone meal, it would grow instantly. But now, it takes seven pieces of bone meal to grow some seeds. I don't know why. It grow wheat. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and there's this little particle effect that, that shows up, um, very similar to, I think, the same one that's sort of used with the NPC villagers. But it takes a lot of bone meal to grow plants now, and it's kind of weird. Um, it's sort of frustrating. I don't think carrots take quite as many. Same with potatoes. Um, but it's just bizarre. I, I don't understand the reasoning for that. They also did the same with uh, with saplings. So if we go ahead and plant a sapling, let's do it over somewhere where there's an open area. I think a tree will grow right here. So I think typically trees take about two pieces of bone meal uh, before they grow. So that is the update with that. Now they've also added something with the dispensers that I will show you guys. Dispensers now dispense out um, bone meal. So if you have a crop down here and a dispenser right behind it, this is going to make for really awesome mechanisms. I don't have any plans in mind yet, but I'm sure some redstone experts out there can come up with some really cool automatic crop growing things um, at high speeds or whatever. But I do have some bone meal in this dispenser, and if I hit the uh, the lever here, it's going to dispense some bone meal out, and it's going to hit the crops, and it's going to grow it. And I think if we slow it down here, I can't go too fast. But as you can see, it's going to grow the crops for us. And if there was a steady redstone pulse being pumped into this dispenser, it would automatically grow your crops for you. Pretty cool. All right, the next thing we're looking at is, uh, so they updated last week. I think they enabled us to change the names of um, of mobs that are spawned in. You could always change the, the eggs. So you can have some eggs here. You can rename the eggs or whatever. Uh, but now, if you hover over the... Uh, the actual mob that you're looking at, if you're close enough and your cursor is touching it, it will display the actual name of the mob. So right here we have Mr. Chicken. Over here we have, as you, I'm sure you can guess, he's an all-star, Pilot Pig, and we've got uh, Agent Dog over here as well as Melvin. So all of my famous pets in Minecraft are, are now uh, able to have names, and uh, of course, when... Um, when the time when the time comes, especially in the Minecraft files, we'll definitely be naming Melvin. All right, the next thing we're gonna look at is the dispensers, and the dispensers have been given an upgrade. They're doing a lot of work on the dispensers. You can actually now place dispensers in all six directions, so uh, you can place them up and down as well. And in this one here, I have dispensers with eggs, and they even work. Check that out. There we go. I was like, what the heck? Uh, yeah, you can now shoot eggs vertically, which is pretty cool. Um, the next thing I want to show you guys is that dispensers will also dispense armor directly onto you. If you're one block away, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. We're going to hit F5, and I'm just going to hit this uh, button here. And as you can see, as I hit this button, it is automatically placing the armor on my body. I think I have it all on. Yeah, there we go. So I'm fully armored up. I didn't have to place any of it on me. And uh, that was all due to the dispenser. Pretty cool. The next thing with the dispensers is that they now activate flint and steel. So if you have a flint and steel inside your dispenser and you press a button, it will light that on fire. Now, because things are lighting on fire very, very quickly, I'm going to try and get rid of that because I don't want this place to burn down but because I do feel explosive today Spencer's now drop TNT lit TNT so if you hit the button here there will be TNT that, <laughs> that goes out of there and yes it will explode So that's pretty cool alright one more thing that we have here is that they added some sort of a scoreboard feature I really haven't been able to get it to work it's still sort of being tested and in development uh, I'm sure some people out there that will figure it out will end up posting videos on how to use this scoreboard feature uh, this was a little uh, command that I got off Reddit. I don't really know how it works, so uh, sorry that I can't give you guys more. I'll look into it, and if I can figure it out, I will, um, I'll be sure to give you guys an update on that. And the last and final thing in this update is that Minecraft tracks are now sort of the kryptonite to mobs. Mobs don't really like uh, Minecraft tracks anymore. I guess they did this so that mo uh, mobs wouldn't be walking across your Minecraft tracks. But to show this, I'm going to spawn a zombie in the middle of these Minecraft tracks. And he, you saw right there, he tried to come after me, and then he was like, dang it. You got me trapped in minecarts. There ain't nothing I can do about that. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, and I'm even underneath this here, and he won't even get close enough to touch me because there's a minecart track here. So it's not like he's just hiding from me from the shade. 
It's actually the fact that he doesn't want to um, cross the tracks. Now, if I step in here, he should hit me, uh, but he won't come outside of that, which is pretty cool. So anyways, buddy, I'm putting you out of your misery because I know you don't like being confined in an, in an area where you can't just walk out of it. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Make sure you subscribe for more snapshot updates and mod reviews and all fun stuff that pertain to Minecraft. Once again, my name is Shimmy Swift 11 and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!